So today we're going to do a simple craft activity to help us to think a little bit more about what Good Friday can mean to us personally. So for this there is a template available that you can download and print out from our church website which is www.stjohnshartford.org but don't worry if you don't have that or if you don't have a printer that you can print it out on. Instead you can use some um, white A4 card or if you've got an empty cereal packet um, that will be fine too. So uh, you only need one packet between two of you so if you don't have an empty one maybe you could ask mum or dad if you could just take the bag of cereal out, keep that somewhere safe and make good use of the packet. So once you've got your packet just open it out so that you've got your um, plain side on the inside and then we're going to very simply draw a cross outline onto this or if you've got your printed template you've already got that. Once you've drawn it you'll need to use a pair of scissors to cut it out and you'll end up with a cross that looks a little bit like this. It doesn't matter exactly what size or shape your cross is as long as it looks like a cross. There's no prizes here for artistry. This is just a really good way to help us to think about why Jesus died on the cross. So if you've already listened to our talk about Good Friday, you'll know that when Jesus died on the cross, he took the blame for all the bad things that we've done wrong. But we do still need to say sorry to him. So what I suggest you can do now is take some time um, get some pens or pencils and maybe just write some of the things down on your cross that you've done wrong. So I'm going to put uh, grumpy on here because I've been particularly grumpy this week um, with my children and, and my husband to be fair. Um, we're all getting a bit grumpy aren't we? I'm going to put um, impatient because I have been particularly impatient with how long it takes for me to download things on our internet at home. Um, what else have I done? Well, I haven't really been as kind or helpful as I could have been. Um, so those are things that I should have done that I didn't do. So I'm going to put kind and helpful on there. You start to get the idea. You want to put lots of things on there that you've done wrong. Um, <clears throat> whether they're things that you've thought or whether they're things that you've actually done. Um, they could just be feelings, you know, that maybe you just feel cross. One of the biggest things that I think a lot of us don't do, actually, is trust God as much as we should do. So, or maybe we just ignore him. Maybe we haven't prayed to him recently. So I'm just going to put trust God on the top there. It doesn't matter what you're putting on yours. That's for you to do with your uh, family that you're with or for you to do on your own. You can then, if you want to, you can decorate your cross however you feel with some nice patterns. I'm just going to do mine fairly quickly. You can do it however you want. Um, you could draw whatever you like really, whatever springs to mind. You might want to do a big heart in the middle to help you to remember that God loves you. So it doesn't matter what you do, this is just a really lovely way to make Jesus' death on the cross personal to you. So when you've done that, uh, maybe have a chat later with your mum and dad and your brothers and sisters about some of the things that maybe you could say sorry for and that maybe we could try again to do better. I hope you enjoy doing that and don't worry we are all naughty all the time even grown-ups so this is something that can just help you and maybe you can keep it through the week and add things on um, and if you're like me by the end of the week your cross will be really full of all the things that Jesus has forgiven you for. I hope you enjoy making that. Bye for now.